What up, YouTube? This is DJ High Top. Uh, I recently got this Akai Professional MPK 249. Uh, I thought it would be a great companion to my MPCX and to the MPC 2.8 software. I got it because of the faders. I figured I could take these faders and use them within the software. And it took me a while, but I figured out exactly how to do it. Uh, I figured out how to do it. As you can see, I got these first three faders and these pan pots already mapped. The first three pan pots, as you can see, they're already mapped. So, I thought I'd do a tutorial how, how I did this. The first thing I did, I went to preset and I created me a preset on preset 25 to MPCX um, so I can store this. I only have to do it once and I can go back to my preset and it'll work with the software. And another thing I like to add, I bought this, this unit used. Somebody had broke the U, USB port. So I'm running it through your, Reddit, your regular MIDI DIN cables into the MPC X MIDI end. Coming out through the MPK249 into the MPC X. And that way it's feeding into the software. So basically what I did, what you would have to do, you go to edit. And once you go to edit, like I said, I got one, two, three already, already mapped. So I would map number four. Say I want to map the fader. And if you can see on the display that in the edit mode, fader number four will pop up. So what you have to do, if you look on the software, you would have to change fader number four. You have to change it to merge. Put it on merge. I already put it on channel four, MIDI input channel four, and port one, which is the port I have going into the MPCX, port one. And I imagine you can do this going straight into your computer with your um, USB port. I'm pretty sure you probably can. But like I said, I got mine going through the uh, traditional MIDI DIN cable. So I'm go coming into port one. So back on your MPK, you will need to select your MIDI channel. And I'm gonna go to USB A4, and that should where it won't. After you after, after you set your, select your MIDI channel, you're going to select your CC number. And since it's a fader, and fader are usually vo volume, the CC number for vo volume in MIDI is 7. So now that should correspond with fader number four on your software. And you also do the same thing with your pan pots. You go, you select the MIDI channel number four, A4, go down to your CC number. Now with your pan pots, the CC number is 10. And then your pan pot number four Will correspond with your pan pot K4 on your M MPK. And you will continue on to map the rest of your fader and pan pots to the corresponding faders and pan pots on your software. And what you'll do is what I did, I saved this. You will save it in here. So what you would go, you go back to your preset. 
and you'll press the push to enter button. And that should save those settings to your preset. And also on your software, you can save as a template or uh, You save project as template, or you can just save it as a regular project and use it every time as an empty project. But hey, if y'all like these tutorials, I'm going to start doing more. I'm new at this, so please bear with me. Um, but if you like, subscribe, and uh, subscribe to my channel, and hit give me a thumbs up on this if you will.